Hey everybody, Syntax here. Welcome back to another episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles on the Patreon server and a new week of content. So we did we did some work last week in Tier 3, and uh, as you can see in between episodes, I did a little bit more progression. I went down here and made this energy storage upgrade, uh, made a chemical reactor, uh, made also the, this industrial electrolyzer. Um, one thing though that I, I did run into an issue, um, coming down here, I wanted to make an advanced alloy smeltery factory. And uh, over here on the machine controller, all this stuff is pretty much doable. This machine casing is doable. Um, we can make refined obsidian now. Um, but looking at this microchip, tier 3 microchip right here, all this is doable except for this empowered plate right here. And if you take a look, um, what we need for this empowered plate, we're going to need Terra Steel. And that is one thing we have not done. We have not got into Batania other than just the, whoa, hello. <laughs> just the, uh, the kind of the beginnings of Batania. But what I'm thinking we're gonna work on this week is um, we've done fair share of progression in a lot of stuff, but we have, I pretty much have been neglecting all the magic mods right now. So first things first, we need to get an area that's gonna set up for an, an expanded area for Batania. And on my little, my little island over here, I am going to say this area right here looks like a pretty good, decent-sized area where we can set up a good size uh, Batania area. So I got my black, my blood magic over here. I'm going to have Batania over here. Um, Astral Sorcery is going to go. I'm going to take, show you guys real quick where that's going to go. It's going to come up here. I am going to build four big platforms up here for Astral Sorcery. As you can see, I also have a nice pillar right here. And then all this stuff has been feeding my new and improved... Um, you know, network cabling as you can see if let's see if I move some stuff real quick you can take a look I made some dense cable and I ran it all the way up to the top right there because I'm gonna keep expanding the base up so, uh, so yeah so I think we're gonna work on this week is we're gonna work on all three magic mods so we're gonna kind of touch them all um, today's episode we're gonna touch a little bit about Batania but I need to first kind of set this area up so I'm gonna do a little bit of terraforming before um, we're gonna come back get a little bit more of Batania and then uh, on the other episodes we'll do a little bit more progression in blood magic and then get into astral sorcery and then if we can focus on that this week I think that's going to help out when we get going back into uh, progressing through tier 3. So, okay. So, I'm going to spend the next couple hours kind of, uh, you know, uh, redesigning this area, expanding out, and getting ready to, to uh, you know, get into Batania. So, okay. So, I will see you guys once I get this area all ready to go. Okay, so that took a little bit of time, but this is the uh, the initial botany area. See, I crafted a nice little, you know, a little, uh, I guess you could call this a, a roof with a with nice view of the sky here. Kind of open, kind of got a garden kind of feel to it. As you can see, I've relocated some stuff down here. Um, I've already got some mana generated again downstairs using my... Uh, some ender lilies down here but one of the first things that we're gonna need to craft as we progress into Batania a little bit farther is we need to make a runic altar and in order to make a runic altar we're gonna need nothing too crazy other than uh, white magical essence and it's gonna require some magical dust so I think we can make this stuff out of if we grab some mana powder which I think we use from beeswax globe dust and illumination powder and this is done from pulverized uh, mana infused metal into the mana pool so okay so let's head upstairs back to the workshop real quick and uh, I'm gonna have to hook up some uh, some way that we can tap our inventory over here because I'd like to be able to do that as well but uh, for now we'll just use our nice little jetpack but okay so let's get some we need to get a mortal real quick and some mana infused let's see so mana infused metal we're just gonna grab one of these guys real quick bingo and now if we drop this into what's left of our, because I don't have it hooked up to anything, so we're just going to burn the rest of this mana real quick. Bingo. Okay, so now we need to grab some illumination powder, which I've got right, I think I've got one right here. We're going to need some beeswax. We'll grab one of these guys, and we're going to also going to need some uh, glowstone. There we go. Okay, so now if we drop this in this pretty much configuration right here, so we got illumination powder, glowstone, mana powder and beeswax should net us bingo magical dust right there bingo and also i have some white i have one cell right here full so what we'll do is let's throw this stuff into the magnet crucible real quick that'll cook up and we'll fill this guy up real fast 
That should give us 1,000. I don't know how much this is going to give us. Hopefully it gives us... Oh, perfect. Okay. I was hoping it was going to give us, uh, you know, a, a full bucket load. So, okay. There we go. So now we're going to need to get some living rock real quick. Living rock. We'll grab all this living rock. We're going to also need to get some silicon. We're going to need to make a silicon block. Not the plates. And it was two of these... Or one of these guys. And it was two gold blocks. So we're going to need to get some gold blocks. And we'll just simply, there we go, grab 18 of these guys real fast, throw this into our factorizer. I just love the factorizer. And what else did we need? So we also needed for the altar, a uh, runic altar, excuse me. So we're going to need, okay, so a mana diamond. We're going to need some electric, electro silicon and some bricks. Okay, do we have some of that stuff? Electro silicon? I thought we did. I've got, bing, look at that, we got two. Okay, and we're going to also need a mana diamond. So let's grab one diamond. And we'll throw this into our mana pool right here. Bingo. And that should be everything that we need to get this guy crafted up. So let's grab these blocks of gold real quick. And let's see if we can just shift-click this in. So we got a runic altar. And what about, oh, we're going to need bricks as well. So we're going to need five bricks. We've got seven. Four. We'll grab one more real quick. Bingo. Okay, so now let's try that one more time. We'll go runic altar. Oh, there we go. And we should be able to shift click this guy in real fast. And oh, you know what? I didn't drop the second round. There we go. Huh. There we go. Okay, so there is one runic altar from Batania. So bingo. There we go. So that is going to be another piece of the puzzle that we're going to need to, in order to progress a little bit deeper into uh, Batania. So let's sleep through the night real quick. And then let's head downstairs and try to find a home for this guy. Okay. And daytime. Let's see. So if we were going to put this runic altar. Nope. And if we just exit out the right way. There we go. And let's head down here real fast. Now, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to put a portal over here on this wall over here. Um, maybe what we can do is let's attach the runic altar. We'll put it right there in the middle. That looks pretty good. Okay, so what will that do is as we build up mana right here, we can feed items into the altar. That'll transpose it into like uh, runes and stuff when we need to get into rune crafting because uh, we are going to have to get into rune crafting real quickly um, if we're going to progress a little bit farther. Okay, so what the next thing that we're going to need to do is now that we got a runic altar, let's check our Batania, le our lexicon Batania real quick. Um, I'm going to need, I'm thinking we're going to need to make some different types of uh, generation, uh, mana generation, not just really rely on ender flames all that much. Um, I was leaning maybe on the uh, the Munchdrew, which uh, it chews up leaves from trees, and I, I do have an area where we could put that. I was thinking maybe if we put some trees over here with that with that flower, um, we can automate the growing of the trees. Um, maybe put one there and one there, and that should generate a little bit of mana. Um, we could also maybe go for the uh, the Thermal Lily, which uh, which eats um, lava. Um, the only problem is there is a cooldown whenever it does eat the lava, and I think it, I think it's like five or six minutes. I think it even says it in there. Uh, yeah, five minutes right there. There's a couple ways we can go. Um, we could even use a hydrangea. I've got a couple of these up in the base. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let me do a little bit of thinking, and uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll figure out which flower we're gonna use, and then we're gonna get to work um, progressing a little bit down the line into a botania. Okay, so I'll see you guys uh, once I get things kind of figured out. Okay, so the, we're going to go with the Munch Drew first, and the first thing we're going to need to craft is, as you can see, we need to make a Rune of Gluttony, so that's going to be uh, something that's going to be a little bit more complex than uh, the rest is. So look, we're going to need a Rune of Fire, we're going to need a Rune of Winter, we're going to need some Supreme Essence, all this stuff is, is doable, but let's first start with the Rune of Fire. So we're going to need to get a Mana Pounder, we're going to need a Mana Steel Ingot, Blaze Powder, um, and Nether Wart, and Gunpowder. So we can grab all this stuff in our inventory real quick. We got Nether Warts right here, we got plenty of those, we're going to need some Gunpowder, gunpowder we're gonna also need to get a mana ingot we're also gonna need to grab one of, oops we're gonna need one of these guys as well because we're gonna have to grind up let's get our more tour again and we're gonna have to make one more mana dust real quick there we go okay so what was the other thing that we needed so let's see let's real quickly get that real quick so rune of fire was we're gonna need so we got that we go oh, blaze powder and a basalt ingot okay so basalt ingot which i think i got some yep we got right there and then we're gonna need a blaze powder as well 
blaze powder. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna also need to wanna take with us one living rock as well. Okay, so let's head downstairs real quick and let's see if we can get this first room crafted up. So, okay. And this whole, uh, this whole uh, setup is going to be kind of changing as I progress down the line. So initially, this might not be where the, uh, the altar is going to you know, be permanently. But okay, so let's see. Let's grab our little baby's powder real quick. It's got blaze powder. We're going to need some basalt ingots. We're going to also need some mana steel ingot. There's our mana powder. And our nether wart. And our gunpowder. Bingo! So all we should have to do is throw down some living rock real quick. And we should wait. And we're gonna need to, I think we have to hit it with our wand as well. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a timer right there. And a couple more seconds. Hopefully we have enough mana as I got mana generating right now. How are we doing? It looks like we're doing okay. So, all right, so that should be about another couple seconds. So the game plan is, so let's get this rune of fire crafted and then we're gonna also need to make a rune of winter. And that guy is going to be a little bit more complex. You see, we're going to need some snow. We're going to need a couple more runes. Rune of water, a rune of earth, cake, rune of water, nothing too crazy. Um, and then let's see what a rune of earth requires. Earth. That is going to require Inferium Clobogger. So all this stuff is very doable. Just it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so that should be ready to go. And now we should just hit it with our wand. And we should see a little bit of magic. And was it? How did we do it again? Oops, didn't want to do that. I want to say, was it? Did you throw it down? No. Hmm. There was a trick to this. I thought you just threw down the uh, the rock, but that is not seeming to work. Okay, let's see. Hit it again with our wand. Nope. No, that is not doing it. Oh, there we go. Huh. Okay, well that was a little bit weird, so I could have swore I, I was doing it right. Okay, there we go. So there is one rune, so we actually have to put the, uh, we put the rune, the, uh, the living rock, and then you hit it with the wand, so. Okay, nothing but a little bit, you know, syntax trying to figure stuff out, you know, wouldn't be, wouldn't be one of my, you know, videos without me trying to, you know, figure something out the painful way. So, okay, alright, so there's one rune, so what I'm gonna do is let me get the next stuff, and we'll start with next, we're gonna need to make a rune earth. That is nothing, like I said, nothing too crazy. Let me get this all together. I'll get it crafted up as long as, as well as, I think, what was the winter one was the other one that was a little bit more complex. So, but we're gonna need the rune of water. Okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff ready to go, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna craft up the, uh, the rune of winter. So, okay, I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, so here we go. So we should have enough to make this uh, Rune of Winter. So let's see. Had to make a cake real quick. So I had to go back into, uh, in, back in my kitchen workshop and made a cake. So, okay, so we got cake. We've got, we need a Rune of Water. We're going to need a Rune of Earth. We're going to need a couple Aquamarine. One, two, and we're going to need some snow. One, two, three. Bingo. Let that cook up for a second. Okay. Well, that's cooking up. So the last thing we're going to need to make, the last piece of the puzzle, is going to be the Rune of Gluttony. And that is going to require Rune of Fire, which we got already. We're going to be making this Rune of Winter. We're going to need two mana diamonds, Jaxium Ingot, which is no problem, might White Magical Dust, and some Supreme Essence, which should not be too big of an issue. But check it out. It's going to need a little bit more mana. So what are we? how are we doing on mana over here? Generating a little bit. Um, I might have to do a make a cut here and then generate a little bit more mana uh, in between So that way we have enough to make it when we come back. So okay, this is just about done um, Well, what we could do let's do real quick. Let's hit slash home real fast Let's make a couple mana diamonds real quick while that's kind of cooking up That bats flying around <laughs> flying in the water. Okay, so we need some diamond. We're gonna need two of these guys Okay, so two mana diamond one, if we could drop it into the pond. Here we go. One, two. Okay, and then what was the other thing we needed? So, room of gluttony. So, we need two mana diamonds. We're going to need a Jaxium ingot. Okay, so we need a Jaxium ingot. I think I got a couple of those. Yep, we got one of these. Do we have 
Do we have, the question is though, do we have any Rune of Gluttony? It's the the uh, Supremium Essence. I don't know if we do or not. Supremium, oh look at that, we do. So we got two of these guys, bingo. Okay, and then one more. Okay, so that should be everything we need. Let's head down here real quick and make our Rune of Winter real fast. Okay, so one Living Rock, one Mind of the Forest, bingo, check it out. So there we go, so we get a, we look at that, I didn't know we get it. Our, we got our Rune of Water and a Rune of Earth back, that is pretty cool. Okay, so, but we did get the Rune of Winter, so we got a Rune of Fire, so let's throw this stuff down real quick. So we got Rune of Fire, we're gonna need a Rune of Winter, we're gonna need two Supremian Essence, one, two, we're gonna need a Jaxium Ingot, we're gonna also need two mana diamonds. And what was the last thing we needed? We needed, um, what was it? Rune of Gluttony. Oh, we're gonna need to go make one white. Okay, we need to make one white magic dust. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll cut right here. I'll come back once we get enough mana and we'll, we'll throw that um, magical dust in there and we'll get this thing crafted up. Okay, be back in one second. Okay, there we go. So all we need to do now is should be able to just to drop down one living rock, one wand of the forest. Oh, let's try it again. Living rock, wand of the forest, bingo. There is our rune of gluttony, and we also got back all these different runes. Very, very cool. So, okay, so let's head back up to the base because now we can put it all together. So, we need to go grab a couple things. So, let's head back up here real fast. And let's see. So, in order to us to craft us a munch drew, we're going to need some lime. We're gonna eat green and red. What we can do is, in order to get these flowers, we can go, let's see, to get the lime flower from Batania, we need to go right here. So we can take our little, we got, since we got tons of these mystical flower so we can just craft this just like that. Bingo, and we're gonna need to also make green. So let's go green flower, and that is, okay, so that's gonna be just taking this like that. And then we're gonna also need to make the red one too as well flower essence and that is just simply just moving this guy here bingo so there's our green lime green and red so let's just quickly just convert these to petals bingo we're gonna have a little bit extra but that's okay okay so what else are we gonna need so in order to make the and that is the munch drew okay so we have our rune of gluttony we've got our lime so it's gonna be two lime one green two red we're also gonna need to get one seed as well We'll grab one seed. There we go. Say, okay, so let's do this. So let's see. One, Root of Gluttony. We'll throw it in here real quick. And we're going to go one green. We're going to need to get two lime. One, two. And we're going to need to get two red. Bingo. And then we should be able to just throw in some seeds. And... With one delay, bingo, there it is. There is our Munch Drew real quick. So now, let's put this guy to test here. So let's head back downstairs real quick to our Botany area. And just for the time being, let's just throw this guy right, we'll put it right here. And let's put one sapling down and let's see if this guy will actually do what it's supposed to do. So we'll throw one sapling, get some bone meal, and let's quickly grow us a tree. Oop. Let's get the bone meal again. There we go, and let's grow us a tree real fast. Come on. Maybe we might have to move. There we go. So let's see. Is it? Oh, check it out. So look at that. Eating all of the leaves. So there we go. Now, the only thing that I'm going to have to figure out is once it's done eating all these leaves, it won't exactly uh, remove the wood. So we'll have to manually remove the wood. But it should be. Look at that. So it's completely filling full of mana. So this Munch Drew is ready to go, ready to transfer mana. So what we could do, just if we wanted to get this mana out of here real quick, is we could just pick up the mana spreader real fast. And if we throw this guy down over here, we should be able to drop it right there. And if we bind it back to our pool, or actually I think we're going to need to bind it to actually to, let's go into bind mode. And we go Munch Drew to the spreader. There we go. We should be transmitting now. Oh, you know what? It's not hitting the, there we go. It actually has to hit the mana pool. There we go. So it's a little bit not centered. So bingo, there we go. So now it is transferring over 
Oh, good lord, if we just fall downstairs real quick. Alright, let's head back up here real quick. There we go. So look, so now we've got mana being transferred from this area over here from our Munchdrew flower down from our Ender flower into our mana pool. So that should do a good job of helping, uh, you know, get us a bigger pool of mana. So, okay. And I'm going to have to figure out a way how to, uh, to, to either automate this, the removal of the trees, or... Maybe set up a different area, but I like the way that looks for the time being. I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging because I just want to just put it together in theory to make sure that it's going to work. So, okay, so that is going to be another way that we can generate a good amount of mana. So, okay, now can you see it's already starting to get a good amount. Cool, cool, cool. So, okay, but unfortunately we are going to be at the wrapping up point for the, today's episode. So this is a little bit more progress in Batania. And in between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how I'm going to re, kind of redo this area a little bit to kind of how it's permanently going to be. And then we are going to work a little bit more on Batania as we work towards getting into, we need to get some Terra Steel. So, because that Terra Steel is going to unlock a little bit of what we need to do. And as you can see, it's there it goes. It's continued to munch up that tree. So, okay, because we're going to want to get to tier three and we're going to need to make that uh, that alloy machine if we're going to do that. So, okay, so please do me a favor. Drop down on the channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you also like the video. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles on the Patreon server. Okay, take care, everybody.